basement with our Ocean Avenue. Jody, please. This is not the way it's supposed to be. You know, you're right. Let's start over, okay? Hi, I'm Jody Starr from Los Angeles, where I was just filming a fabulous new film, and I was living in the hills where I had this incredible view of the valley. Oh, and did I tell you I just ended a hot affair with Brad Pitt? Oh no, wait. That doesn't sound quite right. Let me try it again. Sorry about Soleil, it's uh, too bad. But I did warn you. Is that all you did? It's like I said before. The figures don't lie. I just hope we're not looking at a rerun with Millennia. I'm seeing big red numbers. Nice tie. Just the man I was looking for. Yeah, nice seeing you, but um, I'm a little pressed for time. Now, you can answer a few questions. <sighs> okay, tell me, what about him? And Devin. <laughs> Jeez, you guys are really stumped down there, aren't you? Why don't you hire a freaking psychic or something? For the last time, I can't answer any questions about the untimely demise of my beloved stepmother, okay? But I will give Sage my very best for you. I don't know what you're talking about. Abby's my best friend. Oh, and you'd do just about anything for her. Yes, I would. Yeah, as long as she's useful to you. Excuse me. How can you say such a nasty thing to me? It's just... What? It's, it's not a bad thing. You know what you want, and you focus on how to get it. I actually kind of admire you for that. I don't know what you're talking about, Ian. Well, it's just that it might be easier than you thought to get on that photo shoot next week in Martinique. Maybe you could model this bathing suit for me a little later on, just to see if it fits right. Well, as long as you understand that I would never, ever hurt you. Oh, I understand perfectly. Neither would I. Do you think maybe sometime in the distant future you might not hate me so much? I don't hate you. Well, I'd hate to think what you'd say to me if you did. At least I would be honest with you. Okay, all right, you proved your point. I am a liar. Did everybody get that? Kayla McDermott is a, is a deceitful, disloyal... Do you have any idea what you did to me? And you think it's so simple? that I could just hate you and the pain is just gonna go away. I'm sorry, it's not that easy. And like I said, I don't hate you. At least not anymore. What's that supposed to mean? I used to hate you. At least a part of me did. Probably for the same reason that Lindy does. It's easy to. You have everything I didn't. You were everything I wasn't. And I looked at you like you were some perfect little machine that came right off the assembly line. I bet you don't even remember when we met. Of course I do. Do you know how surprised I was when, when you came and talked to me and you were so nice to me? 
Like maybe, maybe we could be friends. I, I thought you were lost, confused, and when you found your way, I would be the last stop on your schedule. And I guess, I guess I hated you for that because I realized that maybe you wouldn't want to be my friend if you found out who I actually was. But I, I was never like that. I, I never will be. You know, I, I never trusted anyone before. Yeah, sure, maybe Dylan, but not a girl. Especially not one like you. And when you told me, <laughs> when you told me the truth, I realized I never trusted you after all. Just a girl you were pretending to be. And I'm sorry, I'm not strong enough to start over again. I'm just not. shouldn't have. All this for me? Get the hell out! You forgot something before, like your manner, or, or maybe a little gratitude. Just get the hell out. I'm gonna call the superintendent myself. You should be kissing my feet 24-7 for everything, everything I do for you, everything. By getting me hooked on speed? Thanks. Let me give you the bottom line, bitch. Jade, honey. I need top owners like you, I really do. That's not my problem. I got a man now, and I'm gonna make it work, okay? I don't care about your personal business, bitch. You listen to daddy, okay? You've been a very, very bad girl. Very bad. <sighs> I got a gut feeling that Macy knows something. Now, Sage told me that Bobby's getting ready to nail him. Supposedly had some heavy ammo. Bobby ever say anything to you? Nah, we basically just had a professional relationship. But you were pretty close to Stefan, right? Yeah, he was my best friend, both professionally and personally. Then you would know if he was having an affair with Ann Devon. Are you asking me that as a detective or as my brother? Does it matter? Come on, Will, I'm just doing my job here. I need to have some motive. Did Dad send you down here to dig up dirt on Martin? Oh, would you just quit being so defensive? Then quit attacking. God, Tom, how can you let Dad screw around with your brain like that? I mean, just like with Mom. No, no, you're, you're the one that's brain-locked with Mom. All right, she ran out on us. That's the fact. She left and she never looked back, Will. Tom's right, Will. Forget about her. Back off, Dylan. You don't know anything about this. Why? Because I'm just a kid? That's not what he meant. This is like some weird O'Keefe family disease. And all our women do is just leave us hanging. And face it, guys. They're liars. Everybody's always in the mood for a little bit of Raider. Ugh, you are so foul. Maybe. But I'm probably the only guy in the school who knows what you need. Knows what you really need. I know you love me, Star. Why can't you just leave me alone? You know, I could if you really wanted me to. I really want you to. 
No, you don't. Please, just leave me alone. Why is that so hard for you to get? I'm through with that stuff, okay? Get it? Look, Star, I don't want to lose a customer. And no matter what you say, you don't want to be lost. So, why don't you play nice? No, I'm finished with that. I'm a friend of Lucas's. I just want to help. So please call me back before anybody else gets hurt. My number is 555-3475. Bye. Mm. Martin let you really have it, didn't he? Yeah, with both barrels. I don't know, maybe he's right. Maybe I am using this investigation just to uh, avoid real responsibilities, I don't know. Come on, that's a bunch of bull and you know it. You're doing what any responsible person would do under the circumstance. You're following your instincts. And you know what? We're gonna find the murderer, Lucas, I promise. <laughs> How do you do it? I mean, when you say it like that, I almost believe you. Well, you should. You're the one that made me into a believer. You're not gonna back out on me now, are you? No. And I'm gonna prove to my father that I can run Avanti. The only person you have to prove that to is yourself. Just have a little faith. It'd be a whole lot easier if I knew you believed in me. Do you? Hey. Hey, you. Hi. So, does this look incredible on me or what? Oh, yeah, yeah. indeed. You, wow, you really have a knack for this modeling thing. So, how are we going to get me on the photo shoot next week? Well, first you have to start being a little nicer to me. I mean, after all, I was the one that got you started here, and all you ever seem to do is chase after Lucas. Oh, I'm sorry you feel that way. And if there's anything I can do to make it up to you, I really think friends should help other friends, don't you? Yeah. You would look so hot if you got contacts. And if you did something to this. Okay. I wouldn't mind walking and get the wrong impression. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course not. I'm going to like the vault too, because Kevin might need me for fitting. But you, uh, call me. Sure, yeah, um, babe, we could maybe finish this some other time. Yeah, maybe even at the photo shoot. Yeah, Cheryl, hey, Ian, um, we got a little glitch in that photo shoot. Ah. So, tell me. How are things looking? Perfect. Party set for Friday night. Gotten a lot of RSVPs for people who are coming. Good. Including your ex-wife. Oh, and I got a yes from the police commissioner. Excellent. 
I just stopped by to see if we can have that family dinner we've been threatening about since everybody's back in town. I guess that's not a great idea. Oh, come on, Dylan. We are a family. Just can't forget about other family members. No one's doing that, Will. We can't pretend that the women who got us here don't matter. Well, they don't. All right, they walked out on us. They're nothing. Why the hell can't you see that? Wow. I mean, uh, hey, who mår du? Jag vet, det, det var verkligen inte igår. Fast, vad är tid för en sån globetrotte som du, va? Ja, men det här mejlet som du skickat med, du skrev att du skulle åka till Spanien. Ja. Ja, Australien måste vara jättefint. Nej, det, det är bra faktiskt. Jag mår bra. Ja, det är säkert. Chrissy mår bra också. Fast det är lite svårt att veta vad som först går i hennes huvud ibland, du vet. Jag saknar det också. Glad to see you. Glad to be seen. So what's up? Oh, I was just uh, getting ready to replace one of the models in the photo shoot next week. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I want you to be there to supervise, okay? Yeah, well, technically that's an Avanti shoot and Lucas is in charge. That's precisely what worries me. I want you to be there to pick up the pieces when everything falls apart. Whatever you say. It'll run smooth. That's exactly the kind of attitude that's gonna get you places. You keep up the good work, Ian. Of course I believe in you. Why else would I be here? Anyway. I don't know how much I need to hear that. Thank you. You're welcome. In the next episode of Ocean Avenue. Chrissy. 
You were supposed to be at a fitting an hour ago. Where were you, huh? I had to call in another model. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Uncle Tony. I completely forgot. Oh, you forgot. Maybe Charlotte was right about you. Maybe modeling is not where you should be right now in your life. Dylan, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I can't go home. Kayla, he was just trying to scare you. Well, it worked, all right? I'm terrified. Can you go to the cops? And tell them what? That I was a call girl and I need them to arrest my business manager? 